In this video, we'll see what is super keyword in Java. Now to understand what is super keyword, let's go with a demonstration of a demonstration with a class A and let's create one more class B. So we have a, we have two classes here, class A and class B. And let's say this class B extends class A. Okay, that means we are going for inheritance. Now this class here will be called as super class. Uh, we have different names, we can call it as super class, we can call it as parent class, and uh, we can call it as uh, base class. So if you make your class A as super, this class will be called as subclass, right? So this work in combination, it have, it have super class, you can name it as subclass. If you say it is as parent, we will call it as child, if you call it as base, it will be called as derived. So now we have super and subclass, right? Now let's say, uh, if I write something here, let's say public and a constructor of A, that means uh, yeah, that means we are defining a constructor here and let's say, let me print uh, in const A, so that uh, in constructor A and let me define constructor here also, we'll say constructor B and here we'll print S out, so S out in const const b. So now in, co in constructor a, I'm writing in const a and in constructor b, I'm writing in const b. Now if I create object of a, so a obj equal to new a. Now, if I run this code, the only object I'm creating is object a, right? So it will call. So whenever you create object of a object, it will call the default constructor. So I'm writing a default constructor here. That's why it's calling this, that was, it will call this A constructor. Let me run this code. And the output is, yeah, in A const, oh, sorry, it, A in, in const A. Now, what if, if I create object of B? So, instead of getting object of A, let me get object of B. And now, if I run this code, the output you're expecting is this, right, in const B. But the output you'll be getting is, First, it will call in const a and then it will call in const b is because whenever you create object of subclass, you call the constructor, you call the default constructor of superclass. So by default, somewhere here to the every constructor of your every constructor of your any class will have a keyword called as super. So by default, you'll be having a method called as super here, which will call the parent constructor. Then you will say, uh, here also we will be having a super. So by default, it has a super. Doesn't matter if you write it or not, it will have a super. Then you will say, okay, uh, when you talk about class B, it extends class A, which means if you call super here, it will call the constructor, this base constructor. That means this keyword, which is super in your child class is calling this constructor here. It's because we are mentioning a uh, blank brackets, clear? But what about this class? If you say constructor A, it calls super, which constructor it will call? In Java, every class extends, every class, uh -oh, it extends object class. So it is object class. That means if you are writing a super here, it will call the default constructor of object class. So even if you don't write this, it will call default constructor of object class. Even if you don't write this, it will call the default constructor of A. But let's say I have a parameterized constructor here. So let me define parameters constructor here. It is public A. And here, let's say we have int i. And the only thing I'm printing here is in const, uh, const A para. The same thing we can do, we can do here, we'll say it says B and in const B para. Now, even if I run this code, since we are calling the default constructor, since we are calling the default constructor, it will call default, right? So if I run this, obviously the output you will be getting is this default. I'll just hold on. That's funny. So it will call the default, right, in A const and B const. But what if, 
if I pass a number here, so if I pass B, if I pass 5, it will go to this class B, it will check for the constructor which accepts a parameter and it, it, it accepts a parameter, it will call int B para. But what about A? Will it call a default or will it call a parameterize? If I run this code, the output is inst a or in, in inst a and in in const b para. It was supposed to be in const a para, right? Because we are passing the parameter. But no, every constructor will call super. Doesn't matter which type of constructor you are using. Doesn't matter is it a parameterize or default. It will call super. That means somewhere here in this constructor also we are calling a super, which means it will call the default constructor of parent class or super class. What if I want to call a parameterized constructor? You can simply pass i. So if you pass i here, it will jump to this your super class. It will search for the parameterized constructor of your a and it will call this constructor. Now if I run this, so it is in, in const a para, in const b para, right? Now, so this is this is what this is the use of super keyword with uh, super keyword as a method. In this, in next tutorial, we'll talk about super keyword, which I which can be used as object type.